Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and uh, this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st. Now, I know that your last couple of readings that I have done have been fantastic. Let's hope this trend keeps up. I think it's going to. Um, so what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of February 15th to the 21st? This could be if you have an Aquarius stellium, Aquarius Jupiter, anywhere where you have Aquarius in your chart. Um, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to do this one a little bit differently this time. We're going to do you and somebody that is predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is, but you'll find out when the cards come out. So, what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of February 15th through the 21st? Or Aquarius, you know, could be anything. Um, Aquarius, wherever you have Aquarius in your chart. So, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Ooh, King of Swords. So the King of Swords is making a decision. Somebody's, even though, you know, it may be a difficult decision, you may be making a different difficult decision or somebody around you may, may be making one. In regards to you, it looks like this is a decision that may not be an easy decision, but it's a decision that needs to be made based on the truth, based on what it is. You could be dealing with some challenging information this week. You could be dealing with a professional, somebody that is in a professional position that could be you. Um, this could be you that is making a decision based on the facts or somebody in a position, a professional position, is making a decision that is based on the truth. It looks like somebody's not happy. It may be a difficult decision that is being made. This is a position of authority. So we have somebody here that is in a position of authority. Um, looks like it's difficult. It does look difficult to me, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Somebody's got to do what they got to do. Ah, King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with some opposition this week. Okay. You may be dealing with somebody that is unstable, insecure, um, doesn't have anything of value to offer. There could be, um, you know, a loss here with the King of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that doesn't work very hard or is, is greedy, selfish. Um, not very disciplined, maybe very controlling, ruthless. I do feel like you're going to be dealing with some opposition this week. There could be a ruling as well because this is this. I don't know if this is somebody in the law. Could be a judge. Could be somebody, a director. You know, somebody is making a hard, difficult decision about somebody's stability. By the looks of things, because this is a lack of stability. On the bottom of the deck, I just happened to look, is the Ace of Cups. So this is about listening to the heart, uh, doing, what is, doing what is right in regards to emotional fulfillment. So this may have to do with emotional fulfillment. It's probably going to be an emotional week because it looks like this is a difficult decision that is being made this week. And it's going to affect somebody's stability, you know. Um, but I feel like there's another person. I feel like we have you and another person here that isn't stable. And I think that that's what you're up against. Um, so what do we have for this other person that we are talking about? Um, you may not have to do anything as well. I just want to say you could be dealing with a professional that is making the decision. Mm. What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, we got two. So we have stepping down. Somebody, we have somebody here that is very forceful. Could be another woman, could be another man. We have somebody here that is very forceful, very controlling, very egotistical. They're angry. They've been fighting. They've been battling. They've been competing with you. I feel like you've been dealing with a competitor. You've been dealing with a competitor that uh, likes to fight. This is somebody that is manipulative, that lies a lot, maybe even gossips. You may have somebody that's been slandering you, lying about you trying to get you in trouble, just causing you problems. Whoever you're dealing with is probably going to be upset with an outcome. I think that, I think that uh, you are up against somebody that is weak. This person is cowardly. They uh, just like to force their will on other people. Um, this person is, is probably going to get knocked off a high horse. It feels like they're going to be taken down in some way. I mean, a seven of wands, whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're dealing with is very competitive. They like to fight. They, 
they like they thrive on competition and they've been talking about you they've been lying about you slander slander foul foul play of some sort uh, this person is jealous they're extremely jealous of you for some reason I think that you see it I think that you see it. they may have been using somebody as a pawn to help help them get after you and I think that you're in a tough position now they've put you in a tough position but I feel like they you know they've been fighting with you trying to cause you problems but I think they're gonna be taking down be ta be taken down in some way let's get one of these for you they're about to lose their position. Somebody is about to lose their position. This person uh, is very smug, very, very smug, whoever you're dealing with. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be both. You're definitely going to be dealing with opposition, and a, and a, a firm decision is going to be made this week. Now, what about the other person? What about the other person over here? go so for you affairs with your family this may have to do with a family member heart love deep affection and caring it's interesting because on your deck we have the ace of cups it's all about love it's all about love and affection and caring so if somebody is going to see very clearly you know what you have in your heart they're gonna see your big heart something to do with a family could have something to do with a father figure it doesn't have to be um, we definitely have a masculine energy here that is trying to control something and I think you're gonna be put in a tough position okay you, you could be dealing with some challenges this week okay anyhow uh, for this person over here this person over here is gonna have an, an event and this is an exciting event and you know whatever boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall so whoever this person is trying to win something so we got a person over here that is trying to win something this is somebody that is trying to that's what they're trying to do but i don't think they're going to succeed because of that and i have to be honest with you because of the seven of wands reverse and the queen of wands reverse this is somebody that's trying to force something something within the family this is somebody that is has a self-image problem that is highly competitive, that is, is going to be receiving some sort of awakening. If you think about a gong, that's, that's loud. They're going to hear something loud and clear. Um, so anyway, let's talk more about this person that you're dealing with. Um, this person is trying to get something. They are. But they're going to, I feel like this is, this is like stepping down. This is weakness. This person is, is, is weak in some way. Um, Page of Cups. May have something to do with the child. I don't know. Um, Ace of Swords. So is there some sort of truth that is going to be coming out? That is the Sword of Truth. Some sort of information is going to be coming out. That is going to change this person's position. It's going to be emotional. We have some sort of emotions here with the Page of Cups. It appears to be good news. Okay, whoever you're dealing with, I mean, this is good news. This is truth coming out about an individual that is controlling, that is trying to fight, that just wants to fight. Maybe they just want to fight over, I don't know if it's over a child. Emotional truth of some sort. This is a wake-up call. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call because it's all about love. It is all about love. Ah, two of, somebody's made a poor decision. They've made a poor decision. They've they haven't been very flexible. They haven't been able. They haven't been uh, able to adapt to some sort of change. And they've been trying to control an outcome. They've been trying to control something. This is somebody that is inflexible. And I feel like this person has been lying, but the truth is going to come out. Interesting. Interesting. It's like they're trying to gain something that isn't theirs. You're dealing with somebody that isn't trying to get, is trying to get something that isn't theirs. Anyway, let's go back over to you. What do we have for Aquarius? 
could be a woman that is jealous or a man, but it looks like it's a woman to me that is very unbalanced. This person probably lies a lot. Grieving, grieving over a loss crying over the spilled milk we have some and i don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with somebody's somebody's grieving they're not realizing that it's all about love they're crying over a loss when there's still an opportunity for love here ah somebody's about to lose something of value and it's because they don't have integrity they don't have backbone to do the right thing this is somebody that is lazy that doesn't put in effort that doesn't follow through with their plans so i think a decision is being made to take something away i don't know now this is a decision that is being made this is not stable it's not solid it's not secure so this is a difficult decision that is being made there's going to probably be some tears shed you know so you may be making a decision it looks like it's a difficult decision i think we have somebody here that is grieving over a loss they've been focused on this loss for a long time and they haven't been able to do the right thing they haven't been able to they haven't for some reason they haven't been able to do the right thing but the decision is being made this week ah oh, king of wands this is somebody that is uh, egotistical. We I mean, have we look at all these kings. You are dealing with somebody. You're the, you're in the upright position. You are dealing with somebody that is egotistical. This person is uh, self-centered, conceited, unreasonable, unstable. Uh, chooses everything over love. Doesn't realize what love is. And I think that you have to make a difficult decision. You, you have to choose love. Love is more important. Or somebody in your vicinity or somebody is going to be choosing love over no love. Okay? Somebody has been focusing on a loveless situation, you know, and holding on to it. And it's going to be let go. It is going to be let go. We have somebody here that's been unrealistic. They don't follow through with their plans. They have no ambition. They have no drive. They have no desire. And I feel like you're going to be making or somebody is making a difficult decision based on those facts. Okay? The fact is, it's not love. So a, a difficult decision is going to be made this week. It, it is based on the facts. Anyhow, um, King of Wands reverse. This is somebody that doesn't do the right thing. You have some, you know, that can't do the right thing, doesn't have any desire, doesn't have any desire to put in any effort. So I do feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody that, you know, maybe angry. There could be anger here. Somebody could get angry over the decision that is being made to be let go. Somebody is being let go. And I feel like it's a difficult decision. Anyhow, it may have something to do with a family member, could have something to do with work. It may have something, or, or, or the judicial system, you know. Um, it is all about love and I don't see any love here. I don't see any love. So the decision has to be made. There is love to be had and it's a difficult decision to, you know, make. It is definitely just a difficult decision to make. But anyway, whoever you're dealing with is about to get a wake up call because they are not stable. They're not flexible and they're just trying to control a situation. They're, they've been lying about something and I don't know if it has to do with a child. It may have to do with a child or it has to do with a a third party situation or something like that. Um, this person is, it feels like somebody is going down. They're going down for, for lying or, or something like that. Um, this person's miserable. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that is miserable, that is unbalanced. could be dealing with a Leo it doesn't have to be but this is finding the strength finding the courage to let go so somebody is going to be let it this person over here is going I feel like they're going to be let go or they're going to need to let go or they're going to be forced to let go because this is the strength and the courage and the confidence to let go of something that is imbalanced that is unstable somebody is going to be letting go 
and they're going to be um, accepting some sort of truth because this is accepting the truth. So I think there's a there's another person here. The Queen of Wands in reverse represents another person. It could be another woman, another man that is obviously trying to fight. They're going to be giving up the fight they're, or, or forced to give up or something like that. It's all about love. This is freedom. This is a this is freedom from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Somebody, this person over here, there's is there's ties being severed. We have somebody here that's been trying, definitely trying to control something. They have been in their ego. They have been in their ego and they are about to be cut free. They are about to be there, there's freedom here. There is definitely some sort of freedom. Somebody has made a poor decision. They have. And now this is, you know, somebody has been trying to control another person with manipulation. This is manipulation. It is. And now they are about to uh, get a huge wake-up call. So whoever you are dealing with, I feel like they're going to be let go in some way. This is ties being severed. Somebody has made a poor decision. They have. And the truth is going to come out. This is truth being revealed. Now, let's go back over to you. I don't know if somebody is breaking the law. You could be dealing with somebody that is breaking the law. And it's sad. It's sad. Maybe the law is stepping in. Oh my God. May have something to do with a father figure or you know a boss or somebody that is corrupt and that is somebody that is breaking the law i feel like somebody is breaking the law there could be a loss here okay there could be a, i feel like there is with the king of pentacles reversed and the page of pentacles reversed Somebody is, is, is losing their position by the looks of things. This is somebody that has deserted you in the time of need. This is somebody that is corrupt, that is breaking the law, and I feel like they're getting going to get caught. And it's sad. It's sad. You may be grieving over a loss this week. I'm sorry. I am sorry. This is angry. Somebody is angry. They are upset. They are angry and they are upset and they are unreasonable and they are very, very much controlling, extremely controlling. This person does not like to lose control and I feel like they're going to lose control. They are losing control. One more card for you. And I feel like you're going to be put in the position. You're being put in some sort of position. And it's a difficult position, but you're going to see this person, I don't know if they're going to flip out or what. They're going to get angry. They're going to get angry. You may see this person cry. I don't know. Lack of success. You are dealing with somebody that is flogging a dead horse. This is somebody who needs an attitude adjustment. Um, this is lack of success. Lack of closure. Um, somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. And I feel like I feel like you are going to be receiving some challenging information that doesn't make you happy. I mean, I just gotta be honest, it's gonna affect your heart. And the Ace of Cups can be emotional. It can be extremely emotional. Now, the last two readings I did for you were fantastic. So this has to do with a family member. Um, I do feel like uh, it has some it may have something to do with the father. We have all these men here. I think it's a masculine energy. It could be a father, it could be a husband. Uh, it could be a boss. I feel like it's a man. But I also feel like we have a woman here as well. I feel like we have a woman over here that has been, 
and almost like strategizing. This person has been strategizing. Because if you see the two here, it's like there's two people. This person has been putting ideas or ideas in another person's head. This person has been wanting to control. They're jealous and upset. And I feel like now they've led somebody in the wrong direction. They may have... Uh, you know, led somebody to believe that there was going to be love, or they may have flirted. You know, they may have they have, may have done something to manipulate. Remember, we saw that devil card. Yeah, they did something. Now it's upright because the way I picked up the deck. But they have done something to manipulate, and now there's some sort of uh, imbalance. You know, somebody they've lied. They've lied, and I think that's what's causing the problem. You know. Um, so anyway, I feel like this week, there's it's going to be a challenging week. I think it's going to be a challenging week because you're dealing with somebody that um, has been trying to keep a position that in a malicious manner, this is somebody that is malicious, they've been trying to control an outcome, and I feel like this person is about to be taken off their high horse. I feel like they're about to get a huge wake-up call. They, they've made a poor decision trying to manipulate. And I feel like they're, they're about to experience, you know, a loss in some way. And somehow, maybe you're gaining the position. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah, I just, I just cut the deck to the Ace of Pentacles, but I closed it again. I should have showed it to you. Anyhow, so, and this was your deck. It was your deck. So, yeah, you're going to... You're going to get a golden opportunity. You're going to get an opportunity that lasts. And I feel like, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult because on one hand, on one, it's interesting, on one hand, it's, it's probably, you know, something that you know has to be done, but it's bittersweet. So it's, it's very interesting. It is very interesting. Um, I do believe there could be an angry outburst ahead. There could be an angry outburst ahead that uh, causes some discontent this week. Uh, you're dealing with somebody that is very, you know, throws fits, throws tantrums, likes, likes to fight, whatever. Uh, this person is about to lose ground. They're about to lose something. You know, they are. They're about to, I don't know, maybe they're going to fall. Maybe this is a fall from power. This is a fall from power. It is a fall from power. Um, this person's going to have to pick themselves up again. Um, so anyway, uh, Aquarius, I feel like you're going to be dealing with affairs with your family this week. The law may get involved or it could be the universal law. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. There could be, you know, something, somebody that's breaking the law and the law steps in and uh, something gets taken away. I don't know what it is, but the King of Pentacles reversed with the Page of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that doesn't follow through. They don't follow through. They may, they may seem like they're experienced or they may say that they're experienced, but they're not. And this person is unreasonable and self-centered and egotistical and angry and upset. And they like to fight. And they, you can't reason with them. And I feel like you're going to be in a position where you watch this all go down. You watch this, uh, I don't know, there's obviously an ending that happens that is sad. Which is, and it's hard. It's hard to deal with. Anyhow, um, hmm. So anyway, Aquarius, I wish you good luck. Um, you're going to be put in a tough position this week, okay? I think you're going to be receiving some challenging information that, you know, puts you in a state of grieving. Oh my God, you know, this is sad. It's really sad, whatever it is. Good luck.